Welcome back to Red Dead Online. Previously, I would have said that the collector role was by far the most profitable role in the game, even though it was a little bit more on the boring side. It wasn't really posse activities. I mean, you could do it with your posse, but if you could figure out a route from the three cycles they had available, you could make a lot of money just literally going around doing the collector stuff. Now, Rockstar recently... I'm not sure if it was alongside the Moonshine update or roughly around that time. They have made it so that the collector's role, all of the collectibles that you go around finding, are now a lot less predictable. It used to be so that every single collectible set was on three different cycles. So you'd have cycle one, it would literally just rotate, like it'd take it in turns. So you go cycle one, the next day would be two, next day would be three. Then it goes back round through that process again. But what they've done now is separated each and every separate set. So antique alcohol bottles, American wild flowers. They all now have their own separate cycles. And instead of it being three different cycles, they now have six. And each collectible set is on a different cycle. So day number one could be antique alcohol bottles are on cycle four, American wildflowers on cycle two. They've done it to make it a lot less predictable, as I said. And I'll also leave a link to the patch notes in the description. But the best thing is that this community worked their ass off to make things efficient. So the map that everybody was using is still viable because it's been fully updated to feature all of the new cycles. So what I will do is leave a link in the description to that website. You can go check it out and look through the cycles. But alongside that, it wasn't just a simple nerf to increase the amount of cycles, change up the cycles for every single collectible set. The random encounters you would have have been decreased. And I found out some of this info from Silent Cause channel. I'll leave a link to the channel in the description. But there used to be these random encounters. You would either have a dog at the side of the road or it would be something like a deer that's bleeding out. With the deer, if you shot it and put it out of his misery, it would drop you an arrowhead. The dog would start barking and if you followed the dog it would lead you to a collectible they still happen like they do still happen but it's a much more random encounter it doesn't happen anywhere near as much as it used to so rockstar being rockstar being a big company they don't want us to make money at all they want it to be a grind they want it to be hard which is fair enough but as I said, the community have put together the map and we should still be good to go out, grab our collectibles. But I mean, with each one having, I believe you should still be able to figure out a route, but I don't know if it's going to be as much profit. I don't know if it's going to take much longer than it used to. But it's literally the case with everything that's going to earn us money in this game. Rockstar are always going to jump to making it harder, patch things... They're not going to let us just make as much money as we want because obviously in terms of gold bars, you need a lot of gold bars to buy certain things and without gold bars, like if there was a gold bar glitch, it would probably be patched very, very quick because that's their microtransaction. That's how they make extra money besides sales. In terms of cash, I don't get it because you can't buy cash as a microtransaction. You just earn it in game, but... They obviously want it to be a grind. So I just thought I'd make the quick video to let you guys know that it was kind of sneaky. Like it was hidden within the patch notes. But they are visible so it wasn't like a full on stealth nerf. But what I'm going to do is leave three links in the description. You will have one to the map so that you can still figure out your routes for the collectibles. There will be one for the patch notes so that you can have a look for yourself. And there will also be one to the video where I found some of the info from, which is on Silent Core's channel. So that's going to do it for the video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. Should they have done this? Is it going to make any difference to you going out collecting your stuff? Because they've also changed Madame Nazar. I believe if you equip a map or do something with a map, it will actually pinpoint her location now. Whereas she was not exactly hidden but you had to go to her exact location every day to find exactly where she is. But now, as soon as you do something in the game, it pinpoints where she is. So let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. That's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.